So PlayStation just announced that they will be releasing their second major PS5 system software update tomorrow. That's going to be September 15, 2021, along with new features for Remote Play, PS App, and PS4. So let's get over these feature updates and let me know what you think. Number 1. Control Center You can now customize the control center further, even more so than what we currently can do. So currently it's not that really flexible, but this update will now allow us to move most commonly used item, hide unwanted tabs, so pretty subtle change but good update nonetheless. Number 2. Game Base this is basically the friends list, so it will have new social features like messaging a friend directly from the control center. And you can now see your friend's presence, like if they're online, if they're busy and sorts. And now you can also even decline or accept multiple friend requests at once. So again, not a biggie of an update, but welcome improvement, of course. Number three, game library. So on your PS5, games will now show different tiles for PS4 version or PS5. So for example, you have both version of the game installed, right? The library or even the actual dashboard will indicate if the tile itself is in the PS5 version. Um, like if it's a native, if it's running on native PS5 app, or if it's just a PS4 version, like an upgraded PS4 uh, of a game, right? Number four. PlayStation Now Streaming Service. Now, this service will now provide option to stream on 720p or 1080p as its maximum. Now, this is good. Uh, it even has an onboard speed test and all, you know, so you can check your connection. Number five. 3D audio support for TV speakers. Now, this is a big one. I'm super excited for this to see if there will be a huge change in listening experience, like, because a lot of gamers out there are just using the TV speakers, right? Or stereo sound bar. So I'm super pumped to see uh, this, if it's really good, you know, in action. Number six, M.2 SSD high speed storage expansion. Now, of course, this is the biggest and the most awaited update. We'll be waiting for some speed comparison and review from the likes of Digital Foundry here, you know, but I'm super excited for this as well, although I'm not going to buy one right away myself because M.2 storage are pretty expensive still. Number seven, PS Remote Play. You can now play your PlayStation 5 games over your mobile phone. Again, over your mobile phones, either by a Wi-Fi or a mobile data, but you can now stream directly from your phone and it will also give your, um, you know, you a data saving options if you want low quality stream to save more data or highest quality if you don't really care if you have unlimited data plans out there. But this is great. I just wonder if I'm um, playing in my touchscreen mobile phone is, uh, is good at all, but we'll see. And lastly, number eight, PlayStation app. You can now view and share screen broadcasts on mobile via the app. So just on your mobile phone, right? You can now watch PlayStation broadcast and stream, which is also awesome. Like you don't really need to go open your PS5 just to watch your friends play, which is really good update. But that's all for today, guys. So again, check out the link below to visit the actual video, to visit the actual page as well, their blog spot about the PS5 update to learn more. But I'm super excited at this update. Uh, again, this will be rolled out tomorrow. So it's not yet available as of the moment, but it will be rolled out tomorrow. So I'm gonna update mine right away and see the, the, the television 3D audio. So I'm super excited for that. But um, you guys, what is the most exciting update for you out of these eight updates what are you most excited about are you excited in the m.2 ssd high speed storage just let me know down in the comment below by the way guys i created a new channel dedicated for gaming i named it everyday playstation as you probably know i'm a playstation uh, aficionado right the playstation fan i love xbox as well so don't get me wrong but please do subscribe to that channel again it's everyday PlayStation. I'm going to put uh, the link down below. I'm uploading 4K 60 FPS gameplays there. So I'm going to put all of the PlayStation news like this one in the future. And then all of my gameplays and um, tutorials and everything for gaming PlayStation on that channel. Again, that's everyday PlayStation. 
thanks so much in advance please do subscribe to that channel and to this channel if you're not subscribed yet but thank you so much guys for watching but that's it for today guys thanks so much for watching stay safe and see you on my next one